Hi, I'm applying for a job here. Well, you don't have your own chair, so you can take the stool from over there. Yes, it is the job of post clerk that we're recruiting for. Uh-huh. And do you think you can cope with this as efficiently as the rest of us? Yeah, I think so. Of course, you won't get the same pay. You do understand that you will get lower pay than the rest of us. Yeah, uh, I guess. Well, fine then. Have we received that J3 form yet? No, we'll get it next year. Typical when you work at this place. Hi, Lena. We really have to get him some kind of aid. Hi, Lena. Oh. Hi. Now that's a lot better. This is everyday life, as experienced by more than one million people with disabilities in Sweden. Increase accessibility now. My name is Turbjorn, and I have reading and writing difficulties. If you have a hidden disability like this, one always faces the question when applying for a job, whether I should say that I'm a person with dyslexia, or whether I should just keep quiet about it. Hey, I had a Kai. Hi, my name is Kai, and I have a mental disability, which is an invisible disability. If I, as a private individual, a former mental patient, call somewhere and say that I want to apply for a job, and the next question is, what have you done previously? I have been mentally ill. I wouldn't recommend that anybody does that. Hello, my name is Anne, and I have serious visual impairment. I worked as a political expert for the former government and lost my job following the election in 2006. And then I had to register at the employment office as a job seeker. And uh, the first thing they told me was that they wanted to register me as a disabled worker. My name is Inga Lill and I'm allergic to many things. I'm also the chairman of the Swedish Asthma and Allergy Association. I believe it's very important that authorities and others believe you when you tell them. You say it because it's actually true, not because you think it's fun. And it's very important to be believed. This is my experience both as a parent and also as a person with allergies myself. To be believed.